Okay, in this tutorial we're going to go over variables, so go ahead and open up C Sharp and our project from last time. Okay, so I have uh, some variables already declared here. We're just going to go over the four main types. The first type is an int variable, which is an integer, which can only be a whole number. So to declare an integer variable, you first write int, which is the type of variable, the name of the variable, equals operator, and its value, and semicolon. Same thing with a string. A string is any series of text like this. A string, you do the same thing. You write string, the type of variable, the name of the variable, equal to, and its value. But with a string, you must encase it with a double quotation mark on each side so that the compiler knows it's a string. And don't forget your semicolon on any variable. A double is a decimal number, like so. You just do the same thing. A name, equal to, and its value. A, a double can also be a single number or a decimal. And an integer can only be a whole number and nothing decimal. A char, which is short for character, is a single letter like A or 1 or capital R. To declare a char, you just write char, the name of the variable, equal to single quotation mark, the value, single quotation mark. Can't be double quotation mark for you'll get an error. Okay, now to print a variable in the console window. To do this, we just write simply variable name in the console.write line without the double quotation marks on each side and press debug. Now the value of num1 is printed, which in this case is 5. So 5 is printed on the console window. You can also do this with any of the other variables and the same thing will come up. Value of word is hello world. Press X again. To print more than one variable on the line at one time, you do plus operator, double quotation marks, plus, and the variable name. Now you get hello world, hello world. But as you can see, world and hello run together. To fix this, we can add a space in between the double quotation marks. Like so, and now it's hello world, space, hello world. Now to do a simple addition with two variables, you first write the first variable name, which we're going to plus two int variables. So we're just going to change this one to an int because you can't plus a double and an integer or else you could get an error. So to change this to a whole number since it's now an integer which only holds whole numbers. Then the plus operator and the second variable name and press debug. And you get 12 because 5 plus 7 is 12. You can also use the minus operator, the divide operator, and the times operator. Now that you have a basic understanding of how to use variables, we'll cover user input in the next tutorial.